Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel English for Everyone. My name is CJ and today we will cover a very important and interesting topic. Martin Luther King, one of the most significant figures in the US history, who fought for civil rights. Don't forget to subscribe, like and let's get started. Добро пожаловать на мой YouTube канал Английский для всех. Меня зовут Сергей. И сегодня мы рассмотрим очень важную и интересную тему о Мартине Лютере Кинге, одном из самых значимых людей в истории Соединенных Штатов Америки, который боролся за гражданские права. Не забудьте подписаться, поставить лайк и давайте начинать. Chapter 1. The Man from Alabama in 1963, a black minister from a small town in Alabama, in the south of the United States, led a march of more than 250,000 people to Washington, D.C. Translate. Chapter 1. Глава 1. The man from Alabama. Человек из Алабамы. Алабама это штат в Соединенных Штатах Америки. In 1963, в 1963 году, a black minister from a small town, темнокожий священник, from a small town, из маленького городка, in Alabama, в Алабаме, in the south of the United States, на юге Соединенных Штатов Америки, led, привел, a march of more than Намного больше, чем 250,000, 250 тысяч people, людей, to Washington, D.C. Вашингтон, округ Колумбия. D.C. District Columbia. Washington, District Columbia. Read again. Читаем еще раз. Chapter 1. The Man from Alabama. In 1963. A black minister from a small town in Alabama, in the south of the United States, led a march of more than 250,000 people to Washington, D.C. There he made a speech that became famous. I have a dream, he said. He dreamed of all the people of America, black and white, living together in peace and freedom. The minister's speech was shown on television all over the world, and he became a hero to millions of people who saw and heard the speech. Translate. There he made a speech. Там он произвел речь, made, сделал, произвел, создал, that became famous которая стала знаменитой. I have a dream. У меня есть мечта. He said, он сказал. He dreamed, он мечтал, of all the people of America, чтобы все люди Америки, black and white, белые и черные, living together, жили вместе, in peace, в мире, and freedom, и в свободе. The minister's speech, речь священника, was shown, была показана, on television, по телевидению, all over the world, по всему миру. And he became a hero, и он стал героем, to millions of people, миллионов людей, who saw, которые видели, and heard, и слышали, the speech, речь. Read again. There he made a speech that became famous. I have a dream, he said. He dreamed of all the people of America, black and white, living together, in peace and freedom. The minister's speech was shown on television all over the world, and he became a hero to millions of people who saw and heard the speech. But there were also people who hated this man, and 
his ideas. They didn't want black people to be free. They didn't want them to have equal rights. In 1968, less than five years after his famous speech, a white man shot him dead. The minister was only 39 years old. Translate. But there were also people who hated this man. Но там были также люди, которые ненавидели этого человека. And his ideas и его идеи. They didn't want black people. Они не хотели, чтобы черные люди to be free были свободными. They didn't want. Они не хотели them to have equal rights, чтобы они имели равные права. Друзья мои, новое слово equal равное rights права. In 1968, в 1968. Less than five years after his famous speech, менее чем через пять лет после его знаменитой речи, a white man, белый человек, shot him dead, застрелил его насмерть. Либо просто можно перевести застрелил его. A white man shot him dead. The minister was only 39 years old. Священнику было всего лишь 39 Let. Read again. But there were also people who hated this man and his ideas. They didn't want black people to be free. They didn't want them to have equal rights. In 1968, less than five years after his famous speech, a white man shot him dead. The minister was only 39 years old. When people heard of his death, there was much sadness, and people cried in the streets. But many people were very angry too, and there were riots in the big cities. In Chicago and Washington, black people burned buildings and fought the police. Hundreds of black people were killed in this Riots. Translate. When people heard of his death, когда люди услышали о его смерти, there was much sadness. Там было много печали. And people cried, и люди плакали, in the streets, на улицах. But many people, но многие люди, were very angry too, были очень рассерженными тоже. And there were riots. И там были беспорядки. In the big cities. В больших городах. In Chicago and Washington. В Чикаго и Вашингтоне. Black people. Темнокожие люди. Burned buildings. Спалили здания. And fought the police. И дрались с полицией. Hundreds of black people. Сотни темнокожих людей. Were killed. Были убиты. In this Riots. В этих беспорядках. Read again. When people heard of his death, there was much sadness, and people cried in the streets. But many people were very angry too, and there were riots in the big cities. In Chicago and Washington, black people burned buildings and fought the police. Hundreds of black people were killed in these riots. Друзья мои, попадаются нам новые слова, такие как riot, это беспорядок, riot, riots, множественное число, беспорядки. Sadness, возможно, для кого-то будет новая печаль. Не забываем выписывать данные слова себе в блокнотике. Today he is remembered as one of the greatest Americans of the 20th century. Who was this man? Why did so many people love him? Why did others hate him? The man from Alabama, the man who had a dream, was Martin Luther King. And the story of his life is a story of a people's fight for freedom. Translate. 
Today he is remembered. Сегодня его помнят. As one of the greatest. Как одного из величайших. Americans. Американцев. Of the 20th. В 20-м. Century. Столетии. Who was this man? Кто был этот человек? Why did so many people love him? Почему так много людей любили его? Why did others hate him? Почему другие ненавидели его? The man from Alabama. Человек из Алабамы. The man who had a dream. Человек, который имел мечту. Was Martin Luther King. Был Мартин Лютер Кинг. And the story, и история of his life, его жизни, is the story, это история of a people's fight, о сражении людей, for freedom, за свободу. Read again. Today he is remembered as one of the greatest Americans of the 20th century. Who was this man? Why did so many people love him? Why did others hate him? The man from Alabama, the man who had a dream, was Martin Luther King. And the story of his life is the story of a people's fight for freedom. Chapter 2. Growing up in the South. Martin Luther King was born on 15th January, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. His father, who was also called Martin Luther King, was the minister in an Atlanta church. Translate. Chapter 2, глава 2. Growing up in the South. Вырос на юге. Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King, was born, родился, on 15th January, 15 января, 1929, 1929 года, in Atlanta, в Атланте, Georgia, штат Georgia. His father, его отец, who was also called, которого также звали Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King, was the minister, был священником, in an Atlanta church. В церкви Атланты. Read again. Chapter 2. Growing up in the South. Martin Luther King was born on 15th January, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. His father, who was also called Martin Luther King, was the minister in an Atlanta church. The King family were not poor. They lived in a good neighborhood of Atlanta, and they had enough money to live comfortably. When Martin thought about his early years in Atlanta, he remembered a loving family and friendly neighbors. But the King family were black. Less than a hundred years before Martin Luther King was born, his people were slaves. Translate. The King family were not poor. Семья Кинга не была бедной. They lived in a good neighborhood. Они жили в хорошем районе. Of Atlanta, Atlanta. And they had enough money. И они имели достаточно денег to live comfortably. Жить комфортнее. When Martin thought когда Мартин думал about his early years, о его ранних годах, in Atlanta, в Атланте, he remembered, он вспоминал, a loving family, любящую семью, and friendly neighbors, и дружных соседей. But the King family were black. Но семья Кинга была чернокожей. Less than a hundred years Менее чем сотня лет, before Martin Luther King was born, до того, как Мартин Лютер Кинг был рожден, his people were slaves. Его люди были рабами. Итак, здесь слово slave означает раб. Запишите себе. 
Neighbors – соседи. Neighbor – сосед. Neighborhood означает район. Район, в котором они жили. Подразумевает то, что люди там жили и имели соседство с кем-то. Поэтому это не просто какой-то абстрактный район в Америке, либо в вашем городе, а именно то, где вы живете и где вы граничите и соседствуете со своими соседями. Read again. The King family were not poor. They lived in a good neighborhood of Atlanta, and they had enough money to live comfortably. When Martin thought about his early years in Atlanta, he remembered a loving family and friendly neighbors. But the King family were black. Less than a hundred years before Martin Luther King was born, his people were slaves. Even in 1929, black people in the south of the United States didn't have the same rights as white people. Blacks and whites lived in a different worlds. When blacks traveled on buses, they had to sit at the back of the bus. They couldn't sit beside whites. Most restaurants didn't sell food to black people. Translate. Even in 1929, даже в 1929 году, black people, темнокожие люди, in the south, на юге, of the United States, Соединенных Штатов, didn't have the same rights, не имели тех же прав, as white people, как белые люди. Blacks and whites, белые и черные, lived, жили, in different worlds в разных мирах. When blacks traveled on buses, когда черные ездили, либо путешествовали на автобусах, they had to sit, они должны были сидеть at the back, в конце of the bus, автобуса. They couldn't sit beside whites. Они не могли садиться возле белых. Most restaurants, большинство ресторанов, didn't sell food, не продавали еду, to black people, темнокожим людям. Read again. Even in 1929, black people in the south of the United States didn't have the same rights as white people. Blacks and whites lived in different worlds. When blacks traveled on buses, They had to sit at the back of the bus. They couldn't sit beside whites. Most restaurants didn't sell food to black people. Segregation is ruin, but things will get better in time, said Martin's father. White people will start to think differently one day. We should be patient and wait. Because you can't hurry change. It will come, but not soon. We have to wait for it. Translate. Segregation is wrong. Segregация – это ошибка. But things will get better in time. Но все будет лучше со временем. Said Martin's father. Сказал отец Мартина. White people will start to think Differently one day. Белые люди начнут думать иначе однажды. We should be patient and wait. Мы должны быть терпеливыми и ждать. Because you can't hurry change. Потому что ты не можешь поторопить изменения. It will come. Это придет. But not soon. Но не скоро. We have to wait for it. Мы должны ждать этого. Read again. Segregation is wrong, but things will get better in time, said Martin's father. White people will start to think differently one day. We should be patient and wait, because you can't hurry change. It will come, but not soon. We have to wait for it. Ян Мартин didn't agree with his father. 
If you want to change things, you have to act, he thought. He knew himself what segregation meant. When he was very small, he played with a little white boy across the street from his house. His friend's name was Warren. Translate. Jan Martin didn't agree with his father. Молодой Мартин не соглашался с его отцом. If you want to change things, если ты хочешь изменить вещи, ну то есть окружающую ситуацию, you have to act, ты должен действовать. Прекрасный лозунг. If you want to change things, you have to act. He thought. Он подумал. He knew himself. Он знал лично. What segregation meant. Что сегрегация означала. When he was very small. Когда он был очень маленький. He played with a little white boy. Он играл с маленьким белым мальчиком. Across the street. Через улицу. From his house. От его дома. His friend's name. Имя его друга. Was Warren. Было Warren. Read again. Jan Martin didn't agree with his father. If you want to change things, you have to act, he thought. He knew himself what segregation meant. When he was very small, he played with a little white boy across the street from his house. His friend's name was Warren. When Martin started school, he looked for Warren, but he was not there. After school, he went to Warren's house and asked to play with him. The boy's mother said that Martin couldn't play with Warren anymore because Martin was black and his friend was white. Translate. When Martin started school, когда Мартин пошел в школу, he looked for Warren, он искал Ворона, but he was not there, но там его не было. After school, после школы, he went to Warren's house, он пошел в дом Ворона, and asked to play, и попросил поиграть with him, с ним. The boy's mother, мама мальчика, said, сказала, that Martin couldn't play with Warren anymore. То, что Мартин не может играть с Уорреном больше. Because, потому что Мартин was black. Мартин был черным. And his friend was white. А его друг был белым. Read again. When Martin started school, he looked for Warren. But he was not there. After school, he went to Warren's house and asked to play with him. The boy's mother said that Martin couldn't play with Warren anymore because Martin was black and his friend was white. When Martin came home that day, he was crying. He told his mother what had happened. It doesn't matter what other people think. She told him, You are as good as anyone else. Don't you ever forget that? Translate. When Martin came home that day, когда Мартин пришел домой в тот день, he was crying, он плакал. He told his mother, он рассказал своей маме, what had happened, что произошло. It doesn't matter what other people think. Это не важно, что другие люди думают. She told him. Она сказала ему. You are as good as anyone else. Ты такой же хороший, как и кто-либо другой. Don't you ever forget that. Никогда не забывай об этом. Read again. When Martin came home that day, he was crying. He told his mother what had happened. It doesn't matter what other people think. She told him. You are as good as anyone else. Don't you ever forget that. Martin remembered his mother's words. 
he knew that she was right. He was as good as any white boy, but as he grew older, he saw how white people treated black people in Atlanta. Once, when he was in the center of town, he walked into a white woman. It was an accident, but the white woman hit him on the face. Martin remembered, Martin помнил his mother's words, слова его мамы. He knew, он знал, that she was right, то, что она была права. He was as good as any white boy. Он был такой хороший, как любой другой белый мальчик. But as he grew older, но как только он подрос, he saw, он видел, how white people treated, как белые люди продавали, black people, черных людей, in Atlanta, в Атланте. Once when he was in the center of town. Однажды, когда он был в центре города, he walked into a white woman. Он столкнулся. Walked into означает столкнулся. Вот они шли и столкнулись друг с другом. A white woman с белой женщиной. It was an accident. Это был инцидент. But the white woman, но белая женщина, hit him, ударила его on the face. По лицу. Read again. Martin remembered his mother's words. He knew that she was right. He was as good as any white boy. But as he grew older, he saw how white people treated black people in Atlanta. Once, when he was in the center of town, he walked into a white woman. It was an accident. But the white woman hit him on the face. Друзья мои, выписываем accident. Это авария, инцидент, катастрофа автомобильная может переводиться как accident. Следующее слово treated означает продали. Мы помним, трейдеры это те, которые продают акции на биржах. Так вот, запомните, трейдер и treated слова, которые производятся друг от друга. When someone asked her why she had done this, the woman replied, That little black bastard stepped on my foot. Martin's face hurt, but the name that she called him, little black bastard, hurt him even more. Translate. When someone asked her, когда кто-то спросил ее, why she had done this, Почему она сделала это? The woman replied. Женщина ответила. That little black bastard. Тот маленький черный ублюдок. Stepped on my foot. Наступил на мою ногу. Martin's face hurt. Лицо Мартина болело. But the name, но название, that she called him, которым она назвала его, little black Bastard, маленький черный ублюдок, hurt him even more, навредила ему даже больше. Read again. When someone asked her why she had done this, the woman replied, That little black bastard stepped on my foot. Martin's face hurt, but the name that she called him, little black bastard, hurt him even more. When he started high school at the age of 11, Martin began to make speeches. Of course, he often spoke in church, but at school he talked about the need for change in the South. When Martin was 14 years old, he won a prize for one of his speeches. He traveled to Washington with his teacher to get his prize, and they returned to Atlanta by bus. Translate. When he started high school, когда он поступил в старшую школу, at the age of 11, в 11 лет, Martin began to make speeches. Martin начал создавать речи. 
Of course, конечно же, he often spoke in church. Он часто говорил в церкви. But at school, но в школе, he talked, он говорил, about the need, о необходимости. The need, необходимость. For change, изменений in the south, на юге. When Martin was 14 years old, когда Мартину было 14 лет, he won a prize, он выиграл приз for one of his speeches, за одну из его речей. He traveled to Washington, он ездил в Вашингтон with his teacher, с его учителем, to get his prize, получить свой приз. And they returned, и они возвращались to Atlanta, в Атланту, by bus, на автобусе. Read again. When he started high school at the age of 11, Martin began to make speeches. Of course, he often spoke in church. But at school he talked about the need for change in the South. When Martin was 14 years old, he won a prize for one of his speeches. He traveled to Washington with his teacher to get his prize, and they returned to Atlanta by bus. When a white man got on the bus, there were no empty seats, so the driver told Martin to get up and give the white man his seat. Martin refused. Why should he give his seat to this man? The bus driver became angry and called him bad names. Finally, Martin gave the white man his seat because he didn't want to make trouble for his teacher. Translate. When a white man got on the bus, когда белый человек зашел в автобус, there were no empty seats. Там не было пустых мест. So the driver, так что водитель, told Martin, сказал Мартину, to get up, встать, and give the white man his seat. И отдать белому человеку свое место. Martin refused. Мартин отказался. Why should he give his seat? Почему должен он отдать свое место? To this man, этому человеку. The bus driver became angry. Водитель автобуса стал сердитым. Разозлился. Became angry, стал сердитым, либо разозлился. And called him, и назвал его, bad names, плохими прозвищами. Finally, наконец-то, Мартин gave the white man his seat. Мартин отдал белому человеку свое место. Because he didn't want to make. Потому что он не хотел создавать trouble, проблем, for his teacher, для своего учителя. Read again. When a white man got on the bus, there were no empty seats. So the driver told Martin to get up and give the white man his seat. Martin refused. Why should he give his seat to this man? The bus driver became angry and called him bad names. Finally, Martin gave the white man his seat because he didn't want to make trouble for his teacher. But he was angry. It was not fair that he had to stand while a white man sat in his seat. He didn't want to hate white people. But sometimes it was hard not to hate them. Translate. But he was angry, но он был рассержен. It was not fair, это несправедливо. That he had to stand, то что он должен стоять, while, пока a white man, белый человек, sat, сидел, in his seat, на его месте. He didn't want to hate white people. Он не хотел ненавидеть белых людей. But sometimes... Но иногда it was hard, это было тяжело, not to hate them, 
не ненавидеть их. Read again. But he was angry. It was not fair that he had to stand while a white man sat in his seat. He didn't want to hate white people, but sometimes it was hard not to hate them. Итак, дорогие друзья, вот такой серьезный текст я вам подобрал. Текст, скажем так, приравнен к более-менее современному языку. Вы можете использовать эти все слова в жизни и услышать их также из обихода, из разговоров, либо из телевизора. Сейчас я полностью прочитаю данный текст, чтобы проработать все на ваш слух. Chapter 1. The Men from Alabama. In 1963, a black minister from a small town in Alabama in the south of the United States led a march of more than 250,000 people to Washington, D.C. There he made a speech that became famous. I have a dream, he said. He dreamed of all the people of America, black and white, living together in peace and freedom. The minister's speech was shown on television all over the world, and he became a hero to millions of people who saw and heard the speech. But there were also people who hated this man and his ideas. They didn't want black people to be free. They didn't want them to have equal rights. In 1968, less than five years after his famous speech, a white man shot him dead. The minister was only 39 years old. When people heard of his death, there was much sadness and people cried in the streets. But many people were very angry too, and there were riots in the big cities. In Chicago and Washington, black people burned buildings and fought the police. Hundreds of black people were killed in these riots. Today he is remembered as one of the greatest Americans of the 20th century. Who was this man? Why did some people love him? Why did others hate him? The man from Alabama, the man who had a dream, was Martin Luther King. And the story of his life is the story of a people's fight for freedom. Chapter 2. Growing up in the South Martin Luther King was born on 15th January 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. His father, who was also called Martin Luther King, was the minister in an Atlanta church. The King family were not poor. They lived in a good neighborhood of Atlanta and they had enough money to live comfortably. When Martin thought about his early years in Atlanta, he remembered a loving family and friendly neighbors. But the King family were black. Less than a hundred years before Martin Luther King was born, his people were slaves. Even in 1929, black people in the south of the United States didn't have the same rights as white people. Blacks and whites lived in different worlds. When black traveled on buses, they had to sit at the back of the bus. They couldn't sit beside whites. Most restaurants didn't sell food to black people. Segregation is wrong, but things will get better in time, said Martin's father. White people will start to think differently one day. We should be patient and wait, because you can't hurry change. It will come, but not soon. We have to wait for it. Young Martin didn't agree with his father. If you want to change things, you have to act, he thought. He knew himself what segregation meant. 
when he was very small, he played with a little white boy across the street from his house. His friend's name was Warren. When Martin started school, he looked for Warren, but he was not there. After school, he went to Warren's house and asked to play with him. The boy's mother said that Martin couldn't play with Warren anymore, because Martin was black and his friend was white. When Martin came home that day, he was crying. He told his mother what had happened. It doesn't matter what other people think, she told him. You are as good as anyone else. Don't you ever forget that. Martin remembered his mother's words. He knew that she was right. He was as good as any white boy. But as he grew older, he saw how white people treated black people in Atlanta. Once, when he was in the center of town, he walked into a white woman. It was an accident, but the white woman hit him on the face. When someone asked her why she had done this, the woman replied, That little black bastard stepped on my foot. Martin's face hurt, but the name that she called him, Little Black Bastard, hurt him even more. When he started high school at the age of 11, Martin began to make speeches. Of course, he often spoke in church, but at school he talked about the need of change in the South. When Martin was 14 years old, he won a prize for one of his speeches. He traveled to Washington with his teacher to get his prize, and they returned to Atlanta by bus. When a white man got on the bus, there were no empty seats, so the driver told Martin to get up and give the white man his seat. Martin refused. Why should he give his seat to this man? The bus driver became angry and called him bad names. Finally, Martin gave the white man his seat because he didn't want to make trouble for his teacher. But he was angry. It was not fair that he had to stand while a white man sat in his seat. He didn't want to hate white people, but sometimes it was hard not to hate them. If you want to change things, you have to act.